When a blood film has been made and stained, it is important to check the quality to ensure it is good enough to report. The blood film can be divided into three main parts, the body, the feathered edge and the monolayer. When reporting, we are most interested in the monolayer, as the body contains a large number of pack cells, many of which are overlapping or squished together, and so it is difficult to discern the morphology. The length of the blood film is also important and should be roughly two-thirds of the whole slide, depending on the reason for the blood film. For example, if a manual differential count is to be performed, a short film would be too thick and the monolayer wouldn't be enough to count an appropriate number of cells. On some blood films, you may notice a circle of concentrated blood at one end. This is known as the application point and is where the initial drop of blood was placed before smearing. As can be seen, this particular blood film is cover slipped. However, the cover slip doesn't cover the entirety of the blood film. Some of the stained parts are outside the covered area. The edges and feathered tail are useful as large cells, organisms such as microfilaria or large clumps can be pushed out there. Hence, when making a smear it is important to ensure, if possible, that the spreader is narrower than the width of the slide and cover slip. If another slide is being use, used as a spreader, which is usually the case, when the smear is being made, try not to let the blood touch the edge of the spreader when doing the drag back step. The next thing to look at is the staining itself. The red cells should appear a pinkish salmon colour, but depending on the stain used and its pH, the actual colour may either be brighter or duller. Anything containing nuclear material, such as the nucleus of the white cells, stain a purple colour. The neutrophil is one of the granular sites, and so fine granules should be visible in its cytoplasm. The clumped appearance of the chromatin within the nucleus is a sign of maturity. Here we can see a basophil with its deep purple granules. Normal platelets should be well granulated, however in certain conditions they can be hypogranular or have no visible granules at all.